Morning world, 26th of December, 7.45 in the morning, um, and I'm looking at what's going on up there. I've just walked into the office this morning. I saw the moon and Jupiter, I saw Jupiter last night, even with all the clouds here, Jupiter came out to play. Spectacularly bright, so high in the sky. And uh, really late I saw a sort of moonrise, that was rather sweet as well. But it was very, very early, this, well, very late this morning when I saw that. And now, three or four hours later, here I am in the office. Saw Venus as well, walking in, just a glimpse on the horizon. And it's amazing I saw this because I'm sure many people know there's a lot of rain in England, especially southern England at the moment. We've got a lot of floods. I've never seen the rivers as high as they are now. But then I've had emails from people in um, Canada, especially around Toronto and Ottawa area, where there is a great deal of cold and uh no disrespect to my friends in Ottawa, but I'm glad I'm not there now. Um, stay warm, folks. Today, Moon's in Libra. Moon's just finished conjuncting Mars, opposing Uranus, squaring Pluto. It's um, now not really doing anything apart from squaring retrograde Venus for the rest of today and all of the next 24 hours. But the Moon is in Libra, and it's six days away now from the new Moon, and it's getting closer. Now, I'm looking at the world news and I'm not seeing what I would call major new crises brewing, as far as I can see, or if there is, it's slipping under the radar and I'm not sensing it yet. But uh, it does really seem as if this new moon that I've been predicting over this coming last six months, it doesn't look like it's gonna be having that major, a global effect, unless something really comes out of the blue quite fast. Now, I'm not looking, I'm not hedging my bets. I'm not, as we get close to it, uh, it's quite common for people to go, oh, well, maybe it's not going to be so big after all. And I'm still reckon, reckoning this new moon on January the 1st is going to be absolutely massive. But it's beginning to look like it's going to hit individuals more than it's going to hit the global collective. So, if over this last 12 months, you've been under the influence of more than normal levels of either extremist, compulsive, obsessive patterns of behavior or sudden drama that's really turned your life upside down and been completely unpredictable, then um, really this coming new moon is going to kind of encapsulate 2013 so far, well, it's going to encapsulate 2013 and possibly dictate the circumstances of 2014. So if, if you're one of these people that's had a really weird, compulsive year, then it might be worthwhile considering taking specific choice action, which bring things to a permanent and close. Because it's better to do without than to be in a position where you don't know where you stand. Yes, no, black, white, you can live with that. But shades of grey, uncertainty, what a horrible way to go into the new year. So even if it seems a bit ruthless, even if it seems a bit cruel, it's, it's okay to be specific. The closer we get to the new moon, the more it's going to be important for individuals to be absolutely clear with themselves about where their boundaries lie. Bearing in mind we're talking Capricorn here, and Capricorn's order is, is Saturn. So there's a lot of restructuring and boundaries coming in and renegotiation of boundaries and permanent new battle lines being drawn. Lines in the sand are coming out. And um, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty weird at the moment. So don't anticipate what's going on at the moment and over the coming week as representative of 2014. Even though it may give a kind of taste of it, it's not the real deal. This coming week is far more extreme than normal. So if little happens on the outside, check the behavior of those people close to you, especially those who have had a hard time. And if you're one of them, then this coming week, on the one hand, let it out, but do it in a way that's cold, detached, impersonal, ruthless if necessary. Don't get caught up in the heat at the moment and don't let your buttons get pushed. Otherwise, literally all hell can break loose. Okay, catch you later, folks. Catch you either later tonight or else tomorrow. Bye.